Brock Besser, my client, Brock Besser, Brock Star. Uh, we will Brock you, uh, the Brockinator, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Brock is is just an absolute beauty, no matter how you look at it. Uh, you know the way he grips it and rips it. He just that confidence and that uh, the way he controls the puck is uh, is inspiring for sure. And uh, it's just something, you know, we haven't got the privilege of seeing him as, as a long time as Canuck fans the last couple of years. Uh, you know, he's he's got a lot, uh, a lot of potential still, an untapped potential. My concerns around Brock are, you know, he seems to always get to places and he seems to get the shot off just seems like there's a bit of conditioning maybe like last year and I'm not one necessarily to talk about conditioning but you know you have expectations of uh, professional athletes uh he seemed last year he admitted he was you know from the injury it's great that he came back but it took him a while to get going maybe this will be the story of his career is a bit of a uh slow starter in terms of his for his standards um so now we're looking at can he be, you know, elevate his game to the conditioning and the speed? So I think the contract may have slowed that down a bit. And that's why I was hoping that when he signed his contract that he got it done early so he could really just focus on training because uh, he did miss uh, part of the training camp. And um, so that's the next piece I'd like to see is can he get, how would he be with a full uh, off season of full training, you know, and, and just rocking it from there so i see him being a 30 35 goal scorer he's playing on the top line i wonder if he if you'd ever split him up from petterson maybe mix him with horvat and uh maybe put some insulation maybe switch the wingers i don't know from the first and second line put uh or maybe no leave miller with with petterson that seems to work well and then have a different finisher on the top line maybe maybe Furland or Vertanen or Levo actually probably Levo would be my choice um and, I, and I'm a little concerned about him being on the right side of the power play uh, I think he'd be better set up at the left point but maybe that was becoming too predictable so that's those are my concerns around Besser but a great great guy great kid I got to meet him briefly at the autograph session at the end of the Season last year, very polite, very humble. Uh, actually, what I said to him at the end was uh, when he was leaving, I said, Brock, sign for eight more years, go all in for the money, um, which I didn't know Malongo's salary salary would be recaptured. I didn't know we'd buy out Spooner. I didn't know a few other things. Uh, but I said, go for eight years, and he gave me the thumbs up when he was running. So I'm a little disappointed he didn't... Uh, uh, stick to that, but I think the contract, the way it's structured, is is good for the next three years. Uh, Five point eight seven five committed to him, uh, and keep in mind, in three years, Erickson's contract's up, and uh, a couple others are up. That I think, basically, I think it's Louis's contract. That six million, what Brock will get his piece of that. Probably not the full six million, but he'll get a chunk of that salary. Uh, towards his contract and hopefully that's the long-term uh deal at that point uh bit of concerns i think he'll wear the a in the next year or two and uh then the question is can he stay healthy the whole season uh because the risk of if he is does look a, a step slow but he just he finds a way to get there i don't know i just i i love his attitude he seems to be loved by his teammates uh, and I've noticed in the last, you know, videos, he's, he's, when he hugs guys, he has a nice, very like, you know, caring guy. He seems like he really cares about his teammates and, uh, as it comes from a great family, I've watched, if you haven't watched the, the video building Brock, uh, on Sportsnet, you can watch it on YouTube, uh, it's 20 minutes and 20 plus minutes. It was a great video. It gives me chills every time you watch, you see what that guy's been through in his life, the way his family supports him. And, uh, you know, he's, we're very lucky to have him in our organization. Uh, he's exciting to watch and uh, look forward to many years uh, ahead with him as a Canuck.